guys, what's going on? Kyle Krieger here, and welcome back to my channel. I brought a special someone. Hello, I am Taylor. You may know me from my no, they don't fame. Know you. Um, they don't know you. That's how you know him as Taylor's boyfriend. Yeah. So Taylor's back. We're gonna do the boyfriend tag today. I'm sure everybody knows what the boyfriend tag is, but if you don't know, maybe you're new to YouTube. I, I didn't know what it was until yesterday. Okay, so. good. So Gen Z doesn't know. Um, Gen Z. Oh, it's a tag where there's a bunch of questions laid out and you ask your partner them to see how well they know you. So I have the questions all written down here on my telephone. But I haven't seen That he hasn't yet. seen them yet and he's gonna, you know, it's like a quiz basically. Okay, so let's get started with the first question. Um, oh, no. Uh, Ozzy. Z. Go. Oh, God. My son is coming. Uh, Come here. Lay down, please. The first question is kind of basic. It is, where did we meet? We met. I think we talked about it in one of the other videos at an event that Kyle was hosting for charity and yeah. he was raffling off a haircut and I wanted to win so I put my raffle tickets in there and I lost but I told him I still wanted one <laughs> and I got it. Well, I got it. Well, I got it! <laughs> Alright, you can't use that. <laughs> I gave you a free haircut. Sure. And then I incurred a lot of debt. I actually think I paid for the first like three haircuts. It oh. sent me like a little Venmo. Oh, okay. Because I'm very generous. Little. So. Keyword, little demo. What were your first impressions of little old me? Well, I Besides thought... Besides great photography. No. I thought you were very handsome. Um, you were shorter than I thought you were going to be. It was a good size. Um, it's your size. <laughs> and, it's exactly your size. Um, I don't know. I thought you were very easy to talk to and fun. easy to be around. Easy, fun. Um, a little full of yourself. But... <laughs> um, well, my first impressions of you were, um, chaotic. <laughs> that's it? You're not gonna do any good No, that's it. Just, that's the first impression I was like, what am I getting myself into? Wait, so could you tell that I was into it from the beginning? Um, I think so, because whenever I got to the event, I remember walking in and you, I think you said my name. You said Taylor, and then you said, thank you so much for coming. And I was like, how does he know who I am? I follow you on Instagram. I didn't know that. A thirst follow. Thank you, thank you. I could tell that you were a little bit into it because you wore those gray shorts to your first haircut and, and your pee pee was. <laughs> I it was. came, I think it was after the gym, maybe. It was not intentional. Uh, if I'm hanging with people, who am I hanging with? Me. But who are my other friends? Like Raymond and Tyler and Johnny and yeah. Jake. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like whenever we first started dating and you were in the West Hollywood apartment, you were yeah. with Raymond a lot. Yeah. So, we lived in single. Big fan. When was our first kiss? Our first kiss was probably like my third haircut. It was whenever I left my, okay, so I actually left my keys over there on accident. And I went over there after I got off work, and you were watching the Ted Bundy tapes, which I had just finished. You were on the last one, and you were like, do you want to watch this last part with me? So I was like, yeah, sure. So they finished the Ted Bundy tapes, and then Netflix recommended the Ted Bundy movie, so we started that. And then we got a little bit closer on the couch, and I think... I think I kissed you. I think I made the first move. Oh. But you like laid, you were like laying your head on Here. my lap on the couch and I like went down for a little hair. That's a pack. smart move <laughs> on my part. So it was Positioning like that. this. Mm. At least it wasn't face down. No. <laughs> it graduated. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, what is your, what is one of your most favorite of my features? Mm, your beard. Oh! Uh, your beard. And I just nice. trimmed it. Right? <laughs> I need to smell it. I like your mustache. <laughs> That's the first time you said that. <laughs> um, wait, actually, this is a good time to take a break for our sponsor, who is Harry's today. Um, so, yeah, let's take a quick break for our sponsor. Thank you so much, Harry's, for sponsoring this video. And we'll be back with more questions right after this. Hey guys, okay, so today's sponsor is Harry's. It's a grooming and shaving brand. Harry's reinvented shaving six years ago uh, by two guys named Jeff and Andy in a German factory where they started making these beautiful, modern, simple razors. They were sick and tired of overpaying for over-designed products, so they made their own, and this is the result. 
Harry sent me their starter kit, and this starter kit has weighted handle with texture rubber grip, a five blade razor cartridge, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover to protect your blades when you're on the move. Harry's manufacture their own razor blades at a factory in Germany. It's a world-class factory that has been making blades for 99 years. One great thing about Harry's is they support great causes as well. Harry's donates 1% of every sale to organizations that help promote mental health care in men and in veterans. So to help people in need right now in the United States, Harry's is donating $1 million worth of shaving products to hospitals across the United States. So go to the link in the description box. I'm also gonna put it right here on the screen. And you can redeem your trial set for just $3. Okay, what talents do you think that I have? I think you have a very great, like, artistic direction and view. I think you do direct things very well. Um, <laughs> you be directing you <laughs> filming videos too yeah. around the house. Um, yeah, I do feel like you're a great teacher. Like, I um, have, my, my interest of like filming things have grown and you've done a very good job of like teaching me the right way to do things. Oh, and I think nice. you're an easy, you're an easy instructor. You do it really well. Thank you. So. Thanks. <laughs> I feel like it's getting too hot. Do you think the sun is, like the screen is a little too hot on me? I think you're just pale. What was our first trip together as a couple? I guess Gus. I know. Out of California? Yeah. So yeah, the first, I think our first trip as a couple was probably the trip where Gus couldn't fly anymore. It's a long story. I flew to go help my dad. I brought Gus on a flight back when we could fly and um, he, did not fly well. So after five hours of Chewbacca noises, we decided he could not fly home, so we drove home. So Taylor kindly flew to Orlando, and we drove across the country together, which was so nice. Uh, it was actually whenever I thought that I was in love with you. Oh. I just kept staring at you in the car. I was like, mm, yeah, I could do this for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> for a little bit. Complete this sentence in one word. My boyfriend is... Goofy. Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, I saw this personality test on TikTok and I thought it would be a fun addition to this video. TikTok. TikTok. Mm. No? Maybe no. not. <laughs> that. First question is, what is your favorite animal? An otter. Okay, that's how you see yourself. <laughs> what is your second favorite animal? Quokka. <laughs> quokka. That's how you see your partner. That's how you do it. Look up a quokka and... When you think of the ocean, what do you think of? Fun. That's how you see love. That's nice. This is fun. Sometimes. You, yeah, that's good. When you think of darkness, what do you think of? Mm, quiet. Oh, that's quiet. how you see death. It's pretty quiet. I yeah. <laughs> what was your first impression of when you met my parents? Uh, your mom was very sweet. I feel like we had a very like short interaction. It was whenever we were leaving Orlando. So it was like, I could tell that maybe y'all have like a similar sense of humor. Like, is that kind of where, yeah. maybe? And then your dad was great. I feel like you talked about your dad so much and kind of like put out like warnings that it was going to be this like <laughs> experience. But I mean, he was also like so great and like sweet and funny. Sweet, yeah. He's funny. I um, think whenever people talk about their parents, it's also, there's so much like behind it, you know, like yeah. because we grew up with them and family is so traumatic at times. That you're sort of just like prepping someone to this is gonna be a whole thing. And plus my dad has just got through like a really bad car accident. He's recently been diagnosed with some like mental stuff that he's dealing with. And so it's a little scary to bring someone home and be like, so this so is it. You just spent like three weeks yeah. with my family, with my parents. Yeah. So what do you think of my my family? <laughs> I actually, well, I love Cheryl so much. I feel like I was like very surprised. Like she is how I thought she was. Yeah. Just she's like wonderful. loving, kind, sweet, and like wants everyone to be happy and like yeah. just yeah, genuine. Your dad, I feel like I was more surprised at, similar to my situation where I feel like you were like, I do not want to stay in my house with my dad because I just feel like. Not that I dislike my dad. Like I love my dad, but he's just like you don't really know what you're gonna get. I was surprised in that sense because I found him to be like very loving and nurturing. Yeah. 
because he like really loves dogs and like really wants to take care of the dogs. My dad has six dogs. Yeah, and like inside, it's very it was very sweet to Gus. I was prepped for like yeah a little bit more of chaos, and I got like loving and sweet. What song reminds you of me? Uh, sixes to nines by Big Wild. Oh yeah, every single time. Oh yeah. You play all the time in the car whenever we first started dating, and every single time I listen to it, I just get very happy. Oh yeah. Like that feeling like right when you start dating someone and you're like making your first memories and like getting to know you and it was just like such a good time in my life. Yeah. And Maggie Rogers, I feel like just even before I was dating you, I feel like I knew that you liked her. I'm upset. When I, like sometimes when you're not here, I'll play like Maggie, Maggie Rogers just because it feels like, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Very sweet. <laughs> what are my good habits and what are my bad habits? Your good habits. Uh, let's start off on a positive note. Yeah. You're very organized and like clean and you promote a very healthy environment, which I think is excellent and something that I've like benefited from and like learned from. But your bad habits, I think sometimes you are a little hypocritical. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I will get in trouble for like not taking my shoes off right when I walk in the house, but then we'll like walk the dogs and you'll walk all the way to the bedroom with your Because sometimes shoes. I forget too. Yeah, but then you don't get in trouble when you forget. No, because it's my house. What is one thing about me that you wish I didn't do? Or that you would be like, can you just like never do this again? I just like am insecure about my teeth. I have like a chip like right here that I like, can't see that far, but like he calls me Chip. Sometimes he addresses <laughs> me as mostly because uh, Beauty and the Beast. And the Beast but is it's so just like cute. whenever I'm like not in a great mood already, and you're like, "Oh, Chip," I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" Okay. But that's also a bad habit because I will say things to you like that, and then you'll like, I feel like get yeah. upset with me. I feel like it's challenging sometimes because we live such criticized lives, yeah. our whole lives, that from a safe place, if you're getting criticism from a safe place, it kind of hurts more. What is one thing about me that you wish I didn't do? I, I wish that you were on your phone less. Look at my phone, you see I do like aimless scrolling, which I do to like avoid things, which I do, I definitely could be better at. So. It's a practice, I get that. Okay, so I thought it would be fun to do, there's like a few more questions in the boyfriend tag that would be more fun as like a fire round. So I used to do this in my uncut series. So maybe we can just do like, I have to ask the question and then you have to ask like the first word that comes to your mind. But like not too much thinking about it. Like quick. Yeah. Okay. My favorite food. Pasta. Anything stir fry. What? Anything pasta? stir fry. Like mixed together. Okay. Uh, my pizza topping. Veggies. Who would win an argument between us? Your favorite show on Netflix. Um, Tiny Homes. Oh Tiny yeah. Shows. Um, my middle name. John. Yeah, that's good. Uh, name one of my obsessions. Sharks. Dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, what's my coffee order? Just black cold brew. Okay. Do you have a pet name for me? Pumpkin Pet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so thanks for much for watching today's video. And thank you Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out the link in the description box to get um, to get your Harry's. You could get a cool mustache like me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and or a nice beard well, like me. No? Mm, this is better. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you'd like and like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos with Taylor, and if you want more of Taylor in your life, you can check out his Instagram at Taylor D. Vostick. I'll put it on the screen and down in the description box, and you can follow me on Instagram. Um, I don't have Twitter anymore, uh, at Kyle Krieger. So, yeah. Okay, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.